I'm supposed to say hello and welcome, what, 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 I cannot say that shit. This was rubbish. Like, how many times does Ten Hag need to be booed by the fans? Stop taking Erlen Holland off the fucking pitch. He's the only person capable of scoring. But it's not his fault that these fucking cunts cannot cross the ball to save their lives. And most importantly, it's also your fault, Mr. Ten Hag. It's your fucking fault. Bruno Fernandez. Everybody knows with football sense this man is a 10. This man plays the camp position. Central attacking middle fielder. What is wrong with this man's noggin? Does he not know? Bruno is fucking useless on the right wing. Does he not know that? After managing over fucking maybe over 17 months managing this United club. There's no fucking identity. There's no style of play. We're just wicking the ball forwards and hoping Rashford, the battery guy, Duracell bunny, runs all the way and scores. But he's not doing that anymore. He hasn't scored in a long time. I don't even have the stats of that. But I know it's a fucking long time he hasn't scored. His confidence is shit. And everybody knows you put Ganacha on, he's got more flair, he changes the game. You spent 90 plus million on a winger, on a right fucking winger, and you won't play him. You'll play Bruno then. Granted, he had issues, personal issues, domestic violence, and yada yada nonsense. He's been cleared of that, fam. He's been allowed to play. Play the motherfucker. And when the motherfucker is on the pitch, you know what the. He starts turning into a fucking boxer trying to punch Deku and shit. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this dude. And Onana, oh my god, I feel bad for Onana. I feel bad for Maguire. I feel bad for Evans. These guys did a service today. Onana made six, five, maybe seven saves. We, it could have been shambles. It could have been seven up, a fizzy drink again. It was just atrocious, fam. There's no style of play. There's no cohesion. There's absolutely nothing. And we can we can say, oh, the glaze is out. Oh, fuck Ten Hag, fam. Fuck him. This is all his fucking fault. Like, you bought Mason Mount for 50 fucking million from Chelsea, where he didn't even fucking play, fam. You bought him in. You don't even play him. Fuck, he was injured. Oh, yeah, he was injured. You don't play him. And when you actually put him on the fucking pitch at halftime, the fucker does nothing of use. He's absolutely useless to the team. He does nothing of service. He does nothing to save us or to prevent us from being humiliated even further. That's what pisses me off. Way off. Uh, 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 don't get me started. We could shift the blame. Oh my God, it's Maguire's fault. It's Onana's fault. These guys did nothing wrong today. Except for that one time, nothing. I got nothing. I got fucking nothing. I can say it's except for that one time, nothing. The right wing was useless. Dalo was escaping from position. Bruno was escaping because he's not a fucking right winger. It's not rocket science, Ten Hag. It's fucking simple. You're a coach. You're a manager. This nigga was turking. He was like, coach, take me to Manchester when you go there. In his goodbye messages. To your goodbye message when you were leaving. Pardon. When you were leaving Ajax for United. Anthony, you won't play him. And when you do play him, he's in. He's. Oh, for fuck's sake. And then you take off Amrabat. I, why the fuck did he take off Amrabat? Why? And you're gonna say, oh no, uh, you're losing your cool, dude. Relax. Why did he take him off and leave McTominay off? McTominay is a moment player. A moment player. He's shit the whole game. And then he gets one chance to go, two goals. Oh my god, he's a star. Play McTominay every week. Oh no, we're gonna win. And he plays him all week. Removes Erickson, who has the ability to cross the ball. Granted, Erickson is useless defensively, but attacking wise, he's useful. But then you take off the only player who's defending, who's fucking Amrabat. Yes, he got a silly yellow card. Are you saving him for the Newcastle game? Uh, the Carabao game? Fine, you're saving him for that. We're losing, fam. We're fucking losing. 
Shambolically. I'm losing my fucking cool, fam. I'm losing it. And who the fuck do we blame? Time in and time out, we're always blaming somebody. Somebody's got to take the blame. Who are we blaming? Who are we blaming this week? Are we going to say, oh, it's this guy's fault? No, it's this guy's fault. No, it's this guy's fault. It's definitely his fault. He did this. Who did this? Every fucking week, fans leave Old Trafford early. Do you know why? Because of shit play. No style of play. No cohesion. Tactics are rubbish, fam. Rubbish. You have a right fucking winger. You don't play him. You take Regulon from Spurs on loan. He was injured. He's fit. He played well in the Champions League. Played decent. Fuck it. Fine. You, you put... You put... Lindelof in, who's shit at right back, by the way. A left back, right? Is it left? Yeah, a left back. Who's shit at left back? When you walk, you took a player on loan from left back, and you don't fucking play him. And you're playing three centre backs. I would have assumed if you're playing three centre backs, you want to play with three at the back. But no, you don't. You still play four at the back. If you wanted to be different, I would have. I would have said fine. You're playing three at the back. And then you put Anthony in. But Rashford doesn't mark. He, d he doesn't track back to mark players. And, and he's out of form. We're not going to be talking about Bruno. When Bruno, when the team starts losing, he gets frustrated and he gets carded for silly fucking moments. That's not a captain's attitude. But we're going to be blaming everybody. We're going to be fucking blaming everybody. Let me look at the stats here for a sec. Let me look at the fucking stats. I am fucking furious. I, I can't be cursing all this time. And then I want people to watch this. But I'm furious, man. I'm fucking furious. And this happens every fucking week. Because of some cunt not doing his fucking job. Disgrace, fam. Disgrace. Haaland could have had a hat trick. Maybe could have scored four. But Onana did wonders. Onana was great. He finally lived up. He's been he is, is getting better on form. He made a bunch of saves, fam. A bunch of saves. We're not even going to talk about the Hoyland penalty. Like, for fuck's sake, how is that a penalty? And if that's a fucking penalty, every fucking game in the league should have at least two penalties. Because that type of shit happens every game. But it's Michael Oliver in VAR. What do you expect? The guy's a cunt. The guy doesn't know how to referee. I don't know why he still has a fucking job. But you know what? He says, I, I'm looking at this ref. I'm looking. At you know when the ref starts putting their fucking thumb on their ears, on their index finger. They're like, ah, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Something's coming up. Something's coming up. From, ah. it's, it, it's, it's Michael Oliver, ladies and gentlemen. It's Michael Oliver with a dumbass decision. And, and, and if that's a penalty, Holland's getting pulled there. Should be Rasmus Holland. Should be a penalty. And also the same type of shit happened. Maguire did the same thing to Erling Haaland, and they didn't give the penalty. You know what their fucking excuse was? He was far away from the ball. He was miles away. He couldn't impact the play. Really? Did Rodri was Rodri close to the ball when when he was hugged, pushed down, held, and let go? He was not fucking close to the ball at all. But they still gave a fucking penalty. And on top of that, like, I'm telling you, if that's a penalty, even Alan Shearer was like, if that's a penalty, I'm expecting a penalty of that degree every fucking game. That means every game in the Premier League should have a penalty because that happens every fucking game. VAR is shit. It's always been shit the moment it showed up in the Premier League. It's shit everywhere, fam. It's shit. But whatever, we're not supposed to complain about VAR. It's the greatest thing in football. It's revolutionary. Oh, let's talk about that. It's a mess, fam. It's a fucking mess. Let me, I'm trying to pull up the stats here uh, of the game I'm trying, so that I won't embarrass myself. <sighs> okay, uh, Erlen Harland scored a penalty. Um, then Bernardo Silva assisted Erlen Haaland for the second goal, and Erlen Haaland 
assisted Phil Foden on the 80th minute. A uh, bunch of cards. Phil Foden. City only had one yellow card. Phil Foden. And then Onana got a, a yellow. Amrabat got a yellow. Anthony got a yellow. Bruno Fernandes. Two yellows over 90 minutes. Yeah. And that buzzing little sound is for my phone. I apologize for that. I apologize for that. If you hear that, I'm hearing it in my ears. So, anyway, oh, uh, okay. 61% ball possession. 39% uh, by Manchester United. 61 by City. Uh, shots on target. 3 Manchester United. 10 City. Uh, shots in total. 21 for City, 7 for United. Touches, 528, 761 for City. Passes, uh, 597 for Manchester City, 379 for United. Tackles, 14 for United, 12 for City. 24 clearances, 9 for City. 7 corners and 12 corners for City. For offside, zero offside. City don't need fucking offsides, man. They they, they know how to. They putting on offside traps like nobody's business. And together, ladies and gentlemen, Manchester United has won head-to-head -head games. United has won uh, twenty-five matches in fifty-three, and uh, uh, City has won nineteen. They've been winning every fucking game for a long time. So yeah, last time we played them. They won uh, two. We won. Last time we played, we won. And then the game before that, they, they beat the shit out of us six. So it's always a goal thriller. Always more than three goals are scored. But this time, City scored them all. Like, like the lineup, fam. The lineup. The lineups, fam. This cunt had... Why the fuck... Great news, Cuppy Man was back on the bench, so that's a great thing. Yay, hooray. Let's start clapping and pretend that's valuable information. Oh my god, that's valuable information. Yay. It's not. It's great that he's back. You know, the loss of Casemiro proves on this middle... But even with Casemiro back, we've been playing shit for a long time. This club has been playing shit... Who the fuck do we blame? Do we blame the Glazers? They're not picking who starts the match. They're not picking the tactics, are they? No, they fucking ain't. I'll tell you who picked the tactics. Eric Ten Hag. That's who's picking the tactics. And I see no tactics. I'm not a manager. I play FIFA. <laughs> I'll play the game. No, I have not. I, I have two left feet. I've been watching football for a bad long time. I've supported that since I was Oh, digger. It's a family team and shit like that. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't know what we're doing. I honestly, under Ollie, we were playing a counter-attack football. That was a clear and sighted thing. We played counter-attack football. Under Ralph Rennick, we tried to play uh, possession proactive football, gem pass. We only did it under one game when we played Crystal Palace under Ralph Rennick. Under Jose Mourinho, we parked the bus most of the time. And we beat the team with a counter-attack as well. And then under... My God, we've been playing counter-attack since Sir Alex Ferguson left. Who's the fucking... Are we going to say it because we don't have a proper director of football? Who's signing players based on smarts, based on that? Based on the system? Perhaps. Hey. Maybe this thing will work out. Give this nigga another year, maybe. Maybe two more signings, but he's buying expensive players, fam. Is it his fault that these players are expensive? I don't think so. Who's negotiating these contracts? Like, this happens every fucking year. Rashford was great last season. Man was incredible. He fought hard for a new contract. He got a new contract, and he became shit. Oh my god, that rings a bell. This happens every fucking season with United. A player's shit, and then a year's left, and the contract's up, and they play great. They win Golden Glove. I'm talking about David De Gea. He was shit for a while, but he was saving us. Without David, we'd have lost a lot of games with a lot of goals. But he was up for contract. He got Golden Glove. 
and I thought we were going to give him a contract, but we didn't give him a contract, which was out of the ordinary. Like, what the fuck is going on? Rashford was amazing the season four. Amazing. You know what happened? They gave him a new contract, and after he signed on the dotted line, he became shit. He became shit. Bruno was decent. Got a new upper contract. Became shit as well. Uh, Ganacho was great. Got a new upper contract. Became shit as well. He's not shit shit, but he will be shit. Every fucking player this club gives a new contract to becomes shit. They play well to get a new contract. And finally, when they get a, contra a new contract, they become shit. As soon as they sign on the goddamn dotted lines, they become shit. That's going to be a lot of rackets uh, on the editing part. I'm sorry. So, yeah. I'm fucking pissed. Three fucking nil, fam. Three fucking nil. And then when you look at City's bench, and you see that, you know, Deku's not even playing. Greenish is looking great on that left-hand side. He's looking really great. Giving Dalot. I miss one Basaka. I can't believe I'm saying this. I miss one Basaka. I miss Luke Shaw. I miss Martinez. Now, we're going to say, oh, my God, we're injured. We got a lot of injured players. But the defense is not the fucking issue, fam. We lost 3-0. I get that. But the defenders didn't fuck up. The strikers ain't doing shit. That middle field is dead, bro. It's dead. It's fucking dead. This is a, a rant that... that that middle field is dead. It's dead, dead. And I'm pissed. I'm beyond pissed. Uh, anyway, uh, look, this what this other shit happened. Uh, West Ham lost to Everton by uh, a goal down. Austin Villa defeated Luton by three goals to one. Uh, Liverpool defeated Nottingham Forest by three goals. Uh, Brighton, Hovalian, and Fulham drew in an all-one draw. And, of course, Manchester City hammered Manchester United at home, and on the 28th, apparently, I'm not even, I'm just saying this out because I decided to, you know, uh, on the 28th uh, of October, Chelsea lost to Brentford, uh, uh, Burnley lost to Burnhamouth by two goals to one, uh, Arsenal, uh, with, with the Eddie Nketiah hat-trick, defeated Sheffield with five goals to nil, and Wolves and uh, Newcastle uh, drew, and of course, uh, uh, on the first, uh, uh, game uh, that was Crystal Palace versus Spurs. Spurs won by two goals to one. Now, the, the league as it stands is pretty staggering and pretty scary for anybody. Spurs are on top of the fucking league. Spurs are on top uh, with 26 points. 26 points. Arsenal second, 24. City, 24. Liverpool, 23. Austin Villa, 22. Uh, on 6th place, Newcastle with 17. Uh, Brighton with 17 on 7th. United 15 points. 8th place. West Ham 9th with 14. Uh, Brent Brentford 13 points on 10th place. And Chelsea on 11th place with 12 points. Wolves 12 points. 12. <laughs> uh, Crystal Palace 13th place with 12 points. Fulham 14th place with 12 points. Everton, a 15th place with 10 points. A Nottingham Forest, 16th place with 10 points. A Burnham with a 7, 17th place with 6 points. Luton Town, 18th place with 5 points. Burnley, 19th spot with 4 points. And Sheffield with uh, 20th place, the last spot with a single point. The only team to have not won a single game this entire fucking season. Yeah, ne. Yeah. Absolutely atrocious. That's what I'm telling you. This was a joke, fam. This was a joke. This was a joke. This was a joke. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh the uh, the league returns on the fourth of November. Fulham will take on Manchester United, Brentford will take on West Ham, Burnley will take on uh, Crystal Palace, Everton will take on Brighton. City will play Burnham Earth, uh, Sheffield will play Wolves, and uh, Newcastle will play Arsenal, and um, Monday, there'll be the Sunday, I mean, Sunday, 5th November, there'll be Nottingham Forest takes on uh, Austin Villa, Luton uh, host uh, Liverpool, and uh, the closing game 
on Monday, Monday Night Football, will be Spurs versus um, Chelsea. Yeah, that. And that, and that, that. And then, of course, we've got uh, the Carabao Cup uh, on the, the, the 30th of October and the 1st of October. And uh, United will be playing on Wednesday against Newcastle. So Os- Arsenal will be playing West Ham. Uh, Liverpool will be playing Burnham. Chelsea will be playing Blackburn. Everton and Burnley will be playing against each other. And Ip- Ipwich will be playing Fulham. So Man- Mansfield will be playing Port Valley. Uh, Exeter will be playing Middlesbrough. So, yeah. Yeah, net. So City beat the crap out of us, and that's it. I have nothing more to say. 20 minutes long. God, have mercy on us. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening to my so-called rant. I was pissed. I feel a lot better now. I guess talking it out really helps. It really does. So every Manchester United fan, talk to somebody. Get a therapist. Yell at a camera like I did, and you'll feel better. I can watch movies now and move on with my life. Back to sadness on Wednesday against Duke Castle when they beat the crap out of us. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my rant, I guess. And uh, thank you to all my 106 subscribers on YouTube. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bye, bye, y'all.